shoes on a gravel bike. Nope, wrong glasses. Riding the trail, it's a trail glasses. Perfect. So if you couldn't tell, I'm in the rail trail today. I'm looking at a two and a half hour ride. Uh, I gotta start out a little bit easy and then I gotta work into uh, basically like some threshold work. Two and a half hour ride, a few intervals, probably work out to like 30 minutes of hard work. Should be fun. So effort number one, done and dusted. I'm not doing your typical like five minute or 10 minute efforts. I'm simply doing whew, intersection to intersection on the rail trail. And I don't know the length of each one. Some of them are a kilometer long, some of them are four. It's just luck of the draw, whether I get a quick one or a, a long one. And it sucks. Whew. Okay, recovery. Okay, that shit was like the shortest recovery period ever. It must have been two or three hundred meters. It was not enough. But I did it. And then I smashed out another segment and blew up. <laughs> oh well. Back to it. Whoa. And just up here to your right, or left I guess, just up there is the mud chute, which is during Paris to Ancaster, where my derailleur and my rear wheel decided to mate and end my race. Welcome to Brantford. I can't see a goddamn thing. It's always sketchy going through there with glasses on. I just showed up in Brantford at a park and there's a pride parade or something going on in behind. And we're back. So I made it to Brantford in about an hour and uh, did my workout the whole way there. Stopped for a quick snack at a park in Brantford. Watched the pride march go on and was super jealous of the people there having a barbecue. So now I'm heading back home and uh, going nice and easy, kind of like a recovery the whole way back. So it's about 30K back from where I am now. And we're gonna keep it nice and simple. Riding right on the edge like that makes me feel like Sagan riding uh, the cobbles when he refuses to ride cobbles and go on the uh, on the curb. <laughs> you know, because I'm a world champ, I can do that. What a gorgeous day though. Originally it was supposed to rain all day today and, uh, and tomorrow, who knows. But uh, man, it's turned out to be sunny. Beautiful clouds. I'm a nerd, I like clouds. It helps because uh, I'm a ginger and the sun is my enemy. Okay, back to my ride. You know, when 
something flies into your ear and buzzes around at 40k an hour, that shit sucks. Look at these pukes, they're always constantly like in the way of the lens. So when I say pubes, when I'm referring to the GoPro, it's the uh, it's the dead cat uh, sound deadener I put on it. Constantly comes in front of the mic. I gotta cut it up. Or sorry, in front of the lens. I have to uh, to trim it down again. Apparently, they just keep growing. My recovery ride isn't really turning into a recovery ride. I don't even know if you can see me. It's probably way too bright. But uh, I intended on recovery. But it's just so much fun going fast. So I'm trying to keep my heart rate in the like 160 to 170 range, which is like, I don't know, zone three or four or something, I don't know. Um, it's sustainable for a few hours at that rate. 10K left to go. Made it uh, 31 kilometers. Yeah, 31K in uh, one hour, one minute on the rail trail. I really expected it to rain today. Whoops. Starting everything. Ew. Yeah, I really expected it to rain today, but uh, it's gorgeous. It's hot. Oh, yeah. Now I'm gonna go home, take a shower, maybe do some yard work. And I just might film a new video segment called Two Minute Tech Review. It's basically two minutes roughly just one take explain a product that I have that I've used what I like about it what I don't like about it and be brutally honest I'm not sponsored by anyone and uh, no one gives me free shit nothing's paid I pay for everything and uh, I'll tell you if it sucks and I'll tell you if it's great or if it's you know just mediocre because who knows some things are just mediocre but uh, I think the very first two-minute tech review will be on these uh, hand up summer gloves I think so I've got three pairs of hand up gloves I've got the summer the winter and um, the regular ones so we'll start with the summer ones stay tuned for that now I gotta get my bike up on the roof Gotta put the cranks in an arrow position. Oops. Well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for hanging out and watching. Obviously, the rail trail is a lot of fun. It's more fun with other riders, but uh, I don't ride with the team anymore, even though I wear the, the kit. Um, I wear the kit because I like it. I, uh, I made it with Matt, and uh, I still want to support them because I like the guys and the girls that ride for them. But uh, yeah, I no longer ride with the team, and they, they do a lot of group road rides. Uh, I don't ride a lot of road, so I tend to be on my own most of the time. So if you ever do want to join me on the, on the trail, in the forest, a mountain bike, a road bike, whatever you want, hit me up below and we'll set something up. Always looking for people to ride with, because I really do need to ride with people more often. It's more fun than being by yourself, suffering in the forest. Peace out, guys.